Hey everyone, welcome back to the 40 day prayer challenge as we look to day 15. Uh, just wondering, just inquiring, how is that offensive prayer going? How is that offensive faith going? Not offensive, meaning don't be offensive to people, but offensive towards fighting the battle. Fighting the battle, fighting for the cause. What cause? That's the challenge that we have today in our prayer. Fighting the fight. Fighting the good fight, as we get to see in Scripture, but being able to say, what fight is that? A lot of times we find ourselves quarreling or fighting or wrestling with the Lord, be able to say, this is what I want accomplished in my prayer. And then we easily go to that Scripture of Jacob wrestling with God. But if you can really capture that story real quickly, it wasn't Jacob wrestling with God because of the fight that he wanted. He was just laying there, and he began, he got this vision. It was God descending upon him. God fighting, God wrestling with Jacob, Jacob wrestling with God, God Almighty and most powerful as we captured yesterday, being able to touch his hip and throw it out of socket and being able to say, you're out of your match here. But one of the beautiful things about that story, one of the beautiful things about that narrative is God descending to Jacob. God descending to fight for Jacob. You know, David picked that up. David picked that up, and it's in our book for today um, from Psalm 35. It says, Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Now, is David speaking in Psalm 35 to uh, the, the battlefield, being able to say he's going to go against these armies, he's going to go against these people who are really naysaying against his leadership? Now, what is he speaking to in Psalm 35? Uh, it could be those things, but it also could be, frankly, Lord, fight for my heart. Fight for those who contend against me. Fight against the evil one because he's tempting me, contending for my heart. Fight for your cause to be able to happen in my life. Just as you fought for Jacob and called him Israel and shaped his life for the rest of his life, contend for my heart. Contend, fight for your cause in me. And how beautiful that is because as David's prayer, as uh, Jesus taught his disciples to pray in Matthew chapter 6, just bringing that forth once again, that the Father knows your need even before you ask him, that God is going to descend. Now our prayer isn't necessarily us just being able to fight for our cause, being able to know what our goals are, know what our prayer should be, rising to God, um, being able to, you definitely should give your wants and needs to your Heavenly Father. He wants to hear you, but He knows your full need before you even ask Him. And so He's going to descend to you in prayer and fight for His cause in your heart. Contend for me, Lord. Rise to my defense. Because there's going to be things battling for my heart. What an incredible challenge of prayer this is today. To ask of the Lord to descend upon us, to fight for his cause in our lives, rather than us just accomplishing our cause. It's not that God is playing on our field. We're playing on the Lord's field. And if we're playing in God's team and on his field, the beautiful thing about this is, God gives to us the greatest players to play on his field. The gifts of his only son, Jesus Christ. Contend for me, Lord. Rise to my defense. Okay, I'm going to send my Savior. I'm going to send my son, Jesus Christ. He's going to be your Savior. He's going to save you from your sin. And as he departs from this earth and sits at the right hand of God, we have no less power on God's team. We have no less offensive strategy on God's team because he gives us the helper, the comforter, the counselor, his Holy Spirit to once again daily fight for his cause, his kingdom cause within our hearts so that we're not just walking through this life aimlessly. We're not just walking through this life on our own cause or our own purpose, but rather we're walking in the way of the Lord, his cause, his kingdom come. Your will be done, not ours, but your will be done. It's an incredible challenge in our prayer, not to just arise from what we want or need, but know that our Father knows our need before we ask, so he's going to descend to us. He's gonna fight for us. 
in this way. Mark Batterson says that well um, in these in this last page of his book as he circles uh, that prayer, those beautiful phrases. He says, prayer is a difference between you fighting for God and God fighting for you. Let me say that again. Prayer is a difference between you fighting for God and God fighting for you. Contend for me, Lord. Rise to my defense. Fight for my heart this day because your will be done. Your cause is what I'm fighting for. Your kingdom is what I need to be praying over. Your spirit inside of me, use me as you will, Lord. Let's pray for that. Lord, we can quarrel with you. Do you hear us? Yes, you hear us. Lord, we fight for you because do you know our need? Yes, you know our need even before we ask. And that just blesses us. That just comforts us that your will is going to be accomplished this day. And you choose to use us. And so it's less of a fighting and a quarrel for what we need in prayer, but more of your descending and fighting for our heart to align us to your will. So do that, Lord. Make us brave and courageous to see your kingdom at work and step into that kingdom, knowing that we're going to be used by the Holy Spirit this day. Help us to see his promptings. Help us to see his pushing. But Lord, thank you for this challenge. Thank you for this comfort that you're fighting for us. Contend for us, Lord. Rise to our defense. And you surely have in Jesus. Continue to remind us of that by your Holy Spirit this day. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day fighting for the kingdom's cause in the world around you. Because the people next to you really need to see you fight for that cause. Blessings on your day. Jesus loves you.